down the stairs and he taught me to be a human being. He taught me how to be kind and to share with everybody as much as I could. And uh, he taught me to protect other people that didn't have the strengths of the will that I had. So it's a pleasure on one end to be here today. Also I'm thankful to God today with the Torah open because as of today I lost 142 pounds in yeah. surgery. So I'm here to speak about the fact that I'm here for all this, it's so meaningful for me. I didn't really expect to be emotional because, you know, you can read in the paper that someone passed away and say, oh, it's a shame, I knew him. But this is different for me because I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm 66 now, just as of two weeks ago. So to be here, to be able to share with you, Mark, tell you how wonderful your father was to me, mm -hmm. um, is an honor. So God bless him and let him rest in peace. Amen. 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 Ruth, brother said, "Send me this from um, what is it? In Norway, Sweden? Close. Holland. Holland. Jay Backrack was born August 15th, 1925, in Brooklyn, New York, to Ethel and Phil Backrack." Dad was the second generation of his family to be born in the United States. His grandparents immigrated to the United States from Russia and Germany. During World, during World War II, Dad was stationed on a boat near Japan at the end of the war. Upon returning home, he graduated from Brooklyn College and went on to complete his master's in social work at Carnegie Tech University. His first job was at the Staten Island Jewish Community Center, and he would continue to work for Jewish community centers throughout the rest of his career. In Chicago, the fifth city our family lived in, Dad loved the youth summer camps and loved singing camp songs on the bus going and coming back from the campsite in the forest. So I'm not going to read all this. I'm going to leave it for people to read. Lastly, I wish to thank all of you for your patience and attention you were able to give to our father. Dad meant well and he had a good heart. May his memory be a blessing to all who recall his name. Zichrono Levracha. He remember the times he got us to laugh, sing, and join our hands together in the brother and sisterhood he dreamed and lived for. Bless you, Dad. No more suffering. I will be joined. There is no sickness, toil, or danger that will bright that it, that the bright world with which to which I go. Amen. No sickness, toil, no danger in that bright world. On the table when you go out are some uh, pictures of Dad, one with Sky, and the shofar, and um, dancing, and his mazel tov hat so you can try it on. <laughs> you can't keep it, you can try it on. And there's a few more things to provoke your memories of him. And we'll put that on the uh, table if you want to see it. We'll post it on the um, website or something like that. This is a song he would he'd not get to hear, but hopefully it'll help you remember yours. In the rising of the sun, and in the 
it's going down. We remember them in the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter. We remember them in the opening of the buds, in the rebirth of spring. In the blueness of the sky, in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and of the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends. strength. We remember them when we are lost and sick of heart. We remember them when we have the achievements based on theirs. We remember them when we have decisions that are difficult to make. We remember them. So as long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us. As we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us, as we remember them. It is a magnificent expression uh, that we all kind of stay together to um, say goodbye to the soul that's left and to um, make sure that they're comforted and, and that we know where they're going. And uh, so usually it's, it's a real cantorial piece. It's just incredibly plaintive and haunting and it's just not didn't feel right to do that for Dad. He loved for people to sing and camp songs. And so I went to the University of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I went through about 30 different versions of Eil Malay Rachamim, and every one was more Kleenex and <laughs> more incredible. And then there's a Magid, a storyteller. Boy, ah. was my dad a storyteller or what? <laughs> yeah. Steve Clapper. Oh, I know him. Yes, I know right? him. Steve, Steve Clapper, right? My dad used to lead, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I mean, come on. So I, I, I listen. <laughs> He's a Magid, and he wrote this incredibly accessible version of El Malay Rahami. <laughs> Yeah, 
on to this land. I'd bring out a danger. I'd bring out a walker. I'd bring out the love between the brothers and the sisters. All
We are broken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better, better home awaiting in the sky. Thank you. 